Hello everyone, how are you all? So in this video, we are going to start with the analysis of financial statement that is your comparative and common size balance sheet. Correct. So they may ask in three different ways. The first way I'm displaying here, you can take a screenshot and second, take the screenshot and third one, take the screenshot. Correct. They can ask like this, the same question like this, they can ask, correct. So we should bring it in this format, correct. So let us do one question and we'll complete with the comparative and common size, correct. So we'll do the second one, right. So they have given from the following information, prepare comparative balance sheet of Honda Limited. And I'll leave the link of question in the description. You can download it. No worries about the question. Right. So prepare comparative balance sheet of the Honda company. Correct. Next, they have given some uh, liabilities and assets. Correct. So we should prepare comparative statement. And uh, with that, we will prepare common size also. Right. Let us start. So to bring it in format, what we will do? Just write the comparative statement. Is that correct? Comparative. It's a comparative. Comparative statement. And here I will do common size. Correct. So we'll finish it in 10 minutes. No worries. Can be prepared. That. Fine. So to bring it in format, what we will do? Just segregate the liabilities and assets. So what are the liabilities are given? It is share capital, general reserve, secured loans, other current liability, and trade payable. Correct. The other things are assets. Fine. Okay just we need this space so this is your format you should write like this correct here it is your Particulars here, here 2017 18, 2017, and 31st March 2018. Correct. So, always write base year that is earlier, oldest year first, and the next newest year. Correct. So, like that, you should write. Next, we have absolute change. Here it is absolute change and here it is percentage change. So comparative statement and a common size. Let me see. Okay, like this you should write it. Then, then, then. First, first thing equity and liability. Just write equity and liability. Under that, write the all the liabilities. Write all the liabilities. Fine. First thing, share capital, general reserve. I'll write it in short format. You should write in full. Share capital, SC. And the general reserve, GR. Fine. Secured loans, SL and other current liabilities other current liabilities just to see so other current liability ocl and the last one trade payable correct so like this you should write and make a total here So, 
total it write the total next what you need to do write second one as asset second asset are you able to see the second one asset next list down write down the assets here buildings inventory machinery trade receivable and cash at bank so write it buildings inventory buildings inventory i am writing in in short format you write it in full machinery this is mac and trade receivable it is tr cash at bank cb cash at bank and make a total so if total not visible just you yeah, write correct total so fine now write the amounts write the amounts in these two columns 2017 and 18 four lakh fifty thousand just it is four lakh next we have fifty thousand and secured loans it is fifteen thousand don't scratch it like this i'm just doing it for the right alignment correct don't scratch in the exam other current liabilities it is ten thousand and trade payable it is forty thousand and quickly make a total next we have asset you write down the total next we have asset two lakh building two lakh rupees for building and for inventory it is one lakh and for machinery it is one lakh fifty thousand one lakh fifty thousand trade receivable it is fifty thousand cash at bank it is fifteen thousand so quickly make a total of these five and total these five and write it here four it is four lakh fifty thousand fifteen thousand is it fifteen thousand yes and ten thousand and is forty thousand five lakh fifteen thousand total liability is five lakh fifteen thousand i think total assets also three lakh four lakh fifty Five lakh, five lakh, fifteen thousand. Correct. So we made a total. Next, write down the next year, two thousand eighteen. Five lakh sixty thousand. Five lakh sixty thousand. Twenty thousand. And five thousand. And trade payable is fifty thousand. How much it is? Five lakh, right? Five lakh, five sixty, five eighty, five eighty, fifty, six thirty, six thirty five. You also count it once. If I am wrong, correct it. Right. The next we have two lakh fifty thousand for buildings. Ninety. For next one, it is. Ninety thousand, two lakh, and we have seventy-five thousand, and twenty thousand, and the last total is how much? Six lakh thirty-five thousand, right? So now we should find out absolute change and percentage. Correct. So absolute change and percentage. Right. So, how we can find out absolute change? Just minus the recent year with the oldest year. Correct. Five lakh minus four lakh. How much it is? It is one lakh. Is that right? Sixty thousand minus fifty thousand. It is ten k. Twenty thousand minus fifteen thousand. It is five k. Five thousand minus ten thousand. It is minus five k. Is that right? Next one, forty. Sorry, fifty thousand minus forty thousand. It is ten k. And 
फोर सिक्स लैक्स थर्टी फाइव माइनस जस्ट सिक्स लैक्स थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड माइनस फाइव लैक फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड इट इज वन लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वन लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज दैट राइट शो यू शुड राइट लाइक दिस द नेक्स्ट वन और यू डू फॉर द assets that's easy only so like this you should write it down and next what we need to do just absolute change divided by the oldest years amount like 1 lakh is absolute change correct divide it by 4 lakh that is 2017 oldest year correct 4 lakh rupees so 1 lakh divided by 4 lakh One lakh divided by four lakh, it is point twenty five. So it is just into multiply with the hundred, you will get twenty five percent extra step on the. So right into hundred, correct. How we did one lakh divided by four lakh into hundred. If you do that, you will get percentage straight away. Correct. It is twenty five percent. Next, ten k divided by fifty k. It is twenty percent, I think. Calculate once. Let me calculate. Ten divided by fifty into hundred. It is twenty percent. Five k divided by fifteen. It is thirty three point three three. Just calculate. So five k divided by sorry five k divided by fifteen k. It is thirty three point three three percentage, and here we have minus symbol. Just it is fifty percent. Write it in minus symbol. That's it. Ten k divided by forty k is twenty five twenty five percent again. One lakh twenty divided by. I should calculate this. Divided by five lakh fifty thousand. If you do that, it will be twenty three point three zero. Twenty-three point three zero percentage. Is that right? Did you get that? So this is your comparative. You can do it for the assets. So it is easy. So quickly make a note of it, and we'll move towards the com common size statement for the same question. Right. Shall we go for the? Common size, common size statement. Shall we go for the common size statement quickly, and we'll finish it off in just few minutes. This is your common size statement, right? Common size statement. I am erasing these. Right, 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 right. Quickly, we'll finish it off. Now we have all the necessary details. Right, don't need to worry. So now the common size statement is very simple. Just a second, I'll erase this also. This is very simple. If you bring it in this format, after this, just write again two thousand seventeen. And again, two thousand eighteen. Now, now, now. The first thing. The first thing you will do. So write hundred percent for liability and hundred percent for the total assets. That's your first task. Write hundred percent for. Total liability and for total assets you should write hundred percent both. Correct. Now, so how we can find out? Quickly, we'll finish it off. Just no worries. Right. Just do four lakh divided by five lakh fifteen thousand. Four lakh divided by five lakh fifteen thousand into hundred. It is seventy seven point six six percentage. Seventy seven point six six percentage. 
Now next, fifty thousand divided by five lakh fifteen thousand into hundred. It is nine point seven one. Nine point seven one percent age. Fifteen thousand divided by five lakh. So it is fifteen thousand divided by five lakh fifteen thousand divided by five lakh fifteen thousand into hundred. It is two point two point nine one percentage. So next ten thousand divided by five lakh fifteen thousand. Ten thousand divided by five lakh fifteen thousand into hundred. It is one point nine four percentage. Forty thousand divided by five lakh fifteen thousand into hundred. It is seven point seven six. Seven point seven seven percentage. <coughs> right. So for two thousand seventeen, we have done that. So for two thousand eighteen, right, five lakh divided by divided by six lakhs thirty five thousand, and it is uh, into hundred, right? Seventy eight point seven four, seventy eight point seven four, and the next one is sixty thousand divided by six lakhs thirty five thousand into hundred. It is nine point. Four four percent each. Next thing, twenty thousand divided by six lakhs thirty five thousand into hundred. It is three point one four or one five whatever it may be percentage. Next we have five thousand divided by six lakhs thirty five divided by six lakhs thirty five thousand into hundred. It is just a second. Five thousand divided by six lakhs thirty-five thousand into hundred. It is point seven eight percent. Point seven eight percent. Fifty thousand. This one divided by this divided by six lakhs thirty-five thousand into hundred. It will be seven point eight seven seven point eight seven percentage total. It will be hundred percent. Right, we have completed with the common size. You should do for the assets. Then, in the same way, you should do for the assets also. So that's it. Your common size and comparative statement is completed. And please note it down. If you have any doubts, you can ask through Instagram. And if you have any suggestions, you can comment down. And that's it. If you like the video please subscribe and share it with your friends thank you for watching bye bye